motherhood can be the most challenging job, but also the most rewarding as well. Sometimes we need a little reassurance that we're getting it right, and that is why we are talking to Wellington artist and author Catherine Monroe. Now, Catherine, thank you so much for joining us on the cafe You're today. Welcome. Motherhood has been a journey of self-discovery for you, hasn't it? Yes, well, as you will know, having three children yourself, yeah. Mel, you know, motherhood is um, challenging and we're not trained for it. We're plunged into the deep end and we really just have to do our best as we go. So I found motherhood um, pushed me to the edges of my love, the edges of my patience, the edges of my anger, my stress, my exhaustion. And I thought there's got to be a better way to do this, a way that actually I can thrive connect to my joy and wisdom as I do this. So I got contemplative about how to do this. So this and is so the book. And so, ta-da, <laughs> then you've written a book. Now this is called Spilt Milk Yoga, and it's mm. for mums, but it's not about how to do physical yoga either. And it's not a parenting book either, is it? No, it's not. It's very much about the yoga on the inside, so how we work with ourselves as mothers. So it's more about how do you manage the tantrum that you're having. Yeah. yeah, yeah, with yourself, which you do have frequently, let's be honest, when you've got kids, particularly teenagers as well. I like this little bit. I just I flipped through it before and opened it to this uh, little saying. It says, you're no good worried. Your worry adds nothing. Your worry offers nothing mm -hmm. to your family. Your peace offers a lot. Your peace adds a lot. Do everything you can to build peace. You are here now. You are here. And I really like that. It's a workbook too, isn't it? Not just a self-help book. That's right. So the full title of the book is Spilt Milk yoga a guided self-inquiry to finding your own wisdom joy and purpose through motherhood so it takes all that spilt milk all the challenges that you face as a mother all the buttons that get pushed um, and it it asks mothers to really contemplate it gives mothers a opportunity to contemplate why did I have this reaction what do I want to do differently so that's, that's the big premise of the book, is self-inquiry, and the book is a great process that guides mothers through that process. And you've got two teenage daughters, haven't you? I do. They must be pu pushing all of your buttons right now. Oh, actually, I love teenagers. I found very little children quite challenging. Yeah. But actually, I think if you put the hard yards in at the start, um, you know, the teenagers sort of come out right too. So, yeah, I really had to draw on my own experience. So each of the chapters, it's designed with mothers in mind, so it's a very mother-friendly book. And I share my experience, and then uh, there's a practice to work with, and then there's the guided self-inquiry. There's a whole lot of things you can work with through your anger and your joy and all sorts of different feelings that you get. Those, as you said, those emotions that run like this when you are a mummy have so much to deal with. Uh, motherhood, it's spilt milk yoga, motherhood, a guided self-inquiry to finding your own wisdom, joy and purpose through motherhood. It's mm -hmm. really, it looks like a wonderful read and I'm going to actually have a read of it because I think I need a bit of wisdom in my life actually. Thank you so much Catherine.